Hi, Beatrix Haggard with Oklahoma State University's Plant Soil Science Department. Today we are looking at barnyard grass. Barnyard grass scientific name is Echinocloa cruzgali. When we start to look at barnyard grass, this is a summer annual grass. Um, so it will start to appear sometime after our last frost. And whenever it's first starting to appear, you're gonna see somewhat of a spreading coverage for this grass. And because of that, whenever we start to look at these lower stems, they sometimes have a somewhat flattened appearance at the base. Um, this is a grass that has neither ligules or articles. So when we look at this collar region, it's smooth for both areas. And as we look at our actual panicle, it is a very open panicle and as it gets older these spikelets start to actually drop down when we look at our barnyard grass it can also have a similar um, grass that's in the same genus and this is known as jungle rice if we look at the difference of our leaves between barnyard grass and jungle rice our jungle rice actually has purple stripes sometimes going up that leaf. When you look at the seeds of our barnyard grass, um, it can either be on or onless. So depending on the biotype of the barnyard grass that you're actually looking at, um, you can have some differences in the way that these seeds appear. Barnyard grass can be a major problem throughout our crop fields, especially when our crops are seedlings because of the spreading nature of this grass it can start to crowd out those seedlings as they're trying to get up. So especially if you're dealing with soybeans um, or cotton, try to manage this early on before it starts to spread and take out those seedlings.